Hello, good morning! Today is Monday and it is my very first day of class at a new school at that, which is super exciting. I have two classes today. One is an academic, it's like a philosophy class on like the concept of education, which I think is a great way to start off the school year. And the second one is just a Sculpture 101 class, which it feels kind of silly to be returning to like 101 studio courses. Um, after an entire year and a half at art school, but I didn't register with my actual cohort. I registered with the freshmen because I'm an incoming student, even though I'm technically a sophomore here. So Sculpture 101 it is. Um, it's not necessarily my first choice, but I have at the very least heard that we will be doing metalworking and learning how to use all the tools in the wood shop, which is something that I didn't learn how to do at my old school, so at least I'll be learning something. We'll see. I'm not like expecting it to be my favorite class of the semester, but it's something. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, but I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I did this really pretty like sort of graphic eyeliner look. I'm very happy with it. I wanted to do something that was like cool and like creative without being like too crazy and making too strong of a first impression. So I think that it's very pretty and I'm wearing a like t-shirt and jeans to balance it out. So there you go. But I'm gonna go ahead and head out for my first class of the day, I'll see you there. Good morning. Today is Tuesday. I have another two classes. This is the second half of my schedule, one of which is actually the class that I am literally like the most excited for. I like begged to get into this class and the reason that I want to take it so bad is A, it's taught by multiple professors, which as a transfer student is like really good for me because it makes it easier for me to like make connections on campus, which is something that's like a big deal here. The class is about my cat's tail. Can you scooch out of here? So the class is about natural dye and that by itself would be enough to get me really, really interested, right? Because your girl is kind of just independently obsessed with natural inks and dyes. And so like a class about that topic, super sexy and cool, right? So obviously there is a like studio art component to it, right? So we're gonna be making the dyes and working with the dyes in a studio context, which is super cool. But what is so freaking cool about this class is that it's not just a studio class. It's also an art history class because we're gonna be talking about like the history of those pigments and the cultural context behind all of the plants that we're using. And that's not all. We are also going to be talking about like the actual physical chemistry of the dyes and how mordants work and like literally talking about how the dyes themselves work on a scientific chemical level. And like, that's so freaking cool to me. I'm so excited to take this class. Um, so I should really uh, hurry up and get ready so that I can not be late to the first day. <laughs> was literally 15 minutes. <laughs> um, literally the professor who 
is a woman, by the way. Uh, she had a name that I assumed the professor was a man, but she's a lady, uh, which is a pleasant surprise. Anyways, she just went over the syllabus and then dismissed us, apparently because it was too hot to think, which I don't know, it was kind of warm in that building, but not that bad. But yeah, since I have so much extra time, I'm just gonna work on my readings that are due tomorrow and try my best to stay ahead. Easy to say in the first week, but a girl can dream. <laughs> And normally like at this point in the day because I don't have any other classes I would just be like getting straight to work on printing out those readings normally for me the best time to do homework is actually directly after the class because like I'm still thinking about it the information is fresh in my mind but if I'm gonna be honest I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this class I might drop it because like last night and this morning when I was doing the readings I'm not gonna lie I was kind of frustrated it was one of those situations where like the text was so dense, right? I was looking up definitions of words, every other sentence. I was like rereading entire paragraphs because I didn't understand what they just said. It was so jargony, the sentences were so long and I was really struggling. And it was just like, it was one of those kinds of like challenging, difficult texts that like is just part of academic life. And some people really enjoy decoding and translating those kinds of things. I don't, and so for me, I was like slogging through it, kind of frustrated, kind of confused. Generally just like getting it done because that was what had to be done. But like, I was expecting, because this is what has happened in every other class I've ever taken thus far, for us to have that really challenging text and then like to come back to class the next day and like discuss and like extrapolate and like the professor would kind of guide us in the right direction in terms of the interpretation of that text because like it was a challenging text and he acknowledged before he gave it to us like this is a challenging text you might not get it on your first try and so I was like okay great well you know we're gonna come in and even though it was frustrating last night today we're gonna like explain it and I'll get it that is not what happened um, instead, we just like did an additional written response on it and then we immediately moved on and it was like, <laughs> okay, I guess we're not talking about that anymore. And like, not only are we not talking about that anymore, we're talking about like 20 different things over the course of the next hour and a half. And like, I didn't understand what we were talking about. And I have taken classes like that before mostly math and science classes. I've never had this experience in a humanities course, but like, I'm not sure if that's what the rest of the class is going to be like, but if it is, I'm not sure that I want to take the class. I think that, I don't know, I don't know. I think that what I'm going to do is I am going to take a look at what other courses are available during that time slot, like what else might fit into my schedule. Maybe I'll reach out to the professor and like attend his office hours and see if maybe there is something that I could do to make the class more enjoyable for me. I'll probably speak with my friends and maybe my advisor to see if like 
this is just how classes are here and I should suck it up or whether or not like, oh yeah, the philosophy department is just crazy or like something like that to give me a little bit more information about what kind of decision I should make. But I definitely need to make a decision because none of my other classes have made me feel that way so far and I don't want to waste my time with something that's going to make me miserable. So we'll see, we'll see. But I think that for right now, I, uh, I'm gonna take a break from academics. Maybe tomorrow I will return to the question of should I continue with this class? <laughs> morning today is friday i actually am so smart and so special that i deliberately chose my schedule so that i would not have any class on friday as such today is exclusively a doing homework day which i think is perfect i think that i think that you need a day in your schedule that is just for doing homework i am going to start out with just heading off to the sculpture studio to work on my wood carving because that I think is gonna be the most time intensive homework activity of the week. Hopefully I will have time in the afternoon and evening to get some readings done. I'm gonna prioritize the wood sculpture, head out to the studio, I'll see you there.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry that I uh, skedaddled with no real closure to that particular segment. Another class arrived and I just had to get out of there. But I can show you what I was working on. If I can find all three of them. What? Oh, here you are. So the premise of the project was just to like create a sculpture that fit your hand and like was meant to be touched, not looked at. So I made this thing which you can grab like this and also this thing which was looking a little bit vaginal at first but I think that we've escaped that and it's just meant for the thumb and then this thing which is just meant to be in the palm of the hand and I think that they're super pretty super cute we're not allowed to like paint them or stain them or otherwise decorate them with color so they're kind of plain in my opinion, but I do think that they fulfill the requirements of the project and um, I might like keep sanding them a little bit, but I can do that here in my dorm. I don't need to be at the studio to do that. So that's all well and good and I am glad to be done, but it did take literally like, I left at nine and it's like four. So I literally just spent all day in the studio and I'm pretty pooped, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna have a meal, chill out, recharge, and then I think we're gonna wrap up this whole situation and then that'll be my first week. That's crazy. Okay, see you in a few. Hello, editing Graciela from the future here. I don't know why I didn't just end the video there. I think I was maybe planning on like, doing a couple more assignments and then doing an outro, but like I was so tired after carving wood for like seven hours that I just like took a nap and then didn't do anything for the rest of the day. So um, that's the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, because I am from the future, I can give you closure on that uh, philosophy class situation. I did end up dropping it. There weren't any other classes available at that time that like were like fit for me. So I just, I'm taking three classes this semester, which because of the way that my transfer credits function actually works just fine for me. Um, I'm not under credit or anything. So that's that. It all worked out in the end. Um, it just seemed like that class was like, the whole class was going to be that level of difficulty. And I just like didn't have the academic background and to like be successful in that class at this point. Who knows, maybe I will take it again in the future at a later date when I have a little bit more, you know, experience under my belt. But that was that. It's fine. I'm not super disappointed by it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I will see you next time. Goodbye.